yeah, I'm eating pickles in the morning. So what? <laughs> I'm currently in the Mount Hood National Forest. And I've passed through here a bunch of times and every single time I'm like, I gotta make time to stop there and actually explore the area. And I just never had because I've always been busy. Today's that day. I got some time, I'm gonna explore this area and the goals for the day are I want a really good view of Mount Hood, right? That is what the mountain is called. Sometimes I get confused and mixed up, right? Yeah, Mount Hood. <laughs> I'm a professional. I want a good view of the mountain and hopefully, ideally, some snow. I'm not exactly sure it was supposed to snow most of last night and it's supposed to maybe snow today, depending on where you are. But there are a bunch of Forest Service roads surrounding Mount Hood and I think I found one that will give me a view. I'm not sure if it's gonna give me snow, but at least a view. Um, I also realized this morning that this place has a view, a fantastic view of Mount Hood. Whenever I came in last night, it was very, very foggy uh, and raining and basically snowing and hailing. But I had no idea and I woke up to that incredible view of the mountain, which was pretty freaking sweet. But we're gonna go find a different view. <laughs> and hopefully a little bit more isolated. There was like kids and stuff running around this morning. This is like a pretty popular lake from what I gather. But yeah, either way, let's get on the road. Might be getting kicked out already, so it might be a good time to leave anyways. Howdy. Hey there. Um, this is totally fine for day use, but just a heads up, we're closing this for overnight camping. Okay, sweet. So just a heads up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was about to be out of here anyways. It's a beautiful spot to be though. It's incredible, like, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just, it's so hard to be. It's so hard to be. Well, right on. Sounds like you're living the life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Thank Take you, man. Trip. Have a good one. Well, he was super nice, and I definitely didn't stay here last night. So the place I thought would be a perfect spot for the night is right there. But unfortunately, it's blocked off with trees. Now I could very easily just pull that out of the way or honestly go over it. <laughs> but I'm gonna assume the Forest Service put these here because uh, they don't want people going up here and I don't want to get in any trouble or cause any damage to the area. So looks like we're gonna have to find a new spot for the night. But the sound out here is crazy. I'll just be quiet for a second. There is just a tremendous amount of snow falling off all the trees. I think it snowed pretty heavy, uh, and then now it's pretty warm. It's been pretty warm the last couple days, and it's all melting and falling off the trees in like these giant clumps. It's actually been a little scary, because I've been like walking around and I hear a stick break or something. I'm like, whoa, but it's just all the snow falling off the trees. But yeah, the sound is incredible. All right. Time to find a new spot for the night. I did get very close to achieving my goal. The mountain is just right there. So I almost had a view of the mountain. And then of course, we are surrounded by snow. But I wanted a spot with all of them, not just the road.
still no freaking view. <laughs> it's kind of just the reality of going to a place that you've never been before, completely based off of a 2D map, is that, you know, it's hard to predict where the good spots are gonna be. There is a trail here that goes to a fire lookout, so you can have a view if you walk, I think it's two miles that way, but it's getting close to dark, a little too close for comfort, and I still have yet to buy bear spray, so I should probably do that, but they are out, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that chance today. <laughs> I have been on this trail for just about four hours today so far. Yeah, just about four hours. And it has taken much longer to find camp than I anticipated. So I'm just going to go back to one of the pull offs that I saw along the way and then just camp out there for the night. Not quite the perfect snowy lookout view that I wanted, but it's going to have to do. <laughs> I know I say this a lot, but I am so impressed with this van <laughs> the more and more I use it. I mean, this is literally my house and I can take it out into areas like this, no problem. Go through mud, go through those crazy articulating, you know, ruts that I went through earlier. Uh, that was like a really hard obstacle, incredibly loose, a huge articulation. You saw the van got way up in the air, but still it made it through it, no problem. And that that is an obstacle that nothing without lockers is gonna make it through. AKA only serious off-road vehicles is gonna make it through that kind of Obstacle was just hilarious that I made it through in my van, my home. <laughs> Needless to say, I am absolutely, absolutely loving this thing. Now technically I haven't completely failed today because there's snow all around here. And if you look right there, it's gonna be blown out on camera. But for me, that is the mountain. So I got snow and a good view of the mountain. Well, a view of the mountain. In fact, not a good view of the mountain, just a little sliver of sweet, clear blue sky mountain, which is, you know, still kind of cool. Not gonna complain. Not what I was hoping for, but we're here. Also, this lighting could not get any worse. <laughs> I was gonna make just like a basic meat dish, but out here in the cold, what is it? 30 degrees right now, it's gonna get well below 30 tonight. I was like, some ramen with a poached egg actually sounds phenomenal. Like warm ramen, a little bit of egg in there, and a nice toasty van while it's cold and snowy outside, come on. Does it get better than this? I do wish I had some like toppings or something, like some cilantro or something green to put on there. Make it look a little bit more appetizing, but 
This is gonna be very good, I guarantee it. I also had no idea of poaching an egg in my little kettle would work. It seemed to work, it kind of, whenever it went down, it kind of exploded a little bit, which is a little scary. Having boiling water and then like a cold egg go into it in such a small little container, seemed like it could have been a little sketchy, but it worked out. I got a poached egg, just poured it right out um, into the ramen. I mean, come on. I never even thought about doing that before and I was gonna cook something different tonight, but I was just like, you know what? I'd bet that'd work. All right, we got a little bit of some ramen in there, a little bit of egg in there. <coughs> Woo! Oh yeah. Oh, that's real good. It's a spicy ramen. I'm, I'm terrible at eating and breathing at the same time. It's a very complicated process and sometimes I do them at the same time, but with spicy food, it does not go down well. Oh. Yeah, that is freaking delicious. This is actually the first time I've ever made ramen with an egg in it, surprisingly enough. Anyways, if you've been following along, you know that Mount Hood is in Oregon, and I've been spending the last couple months in Washington. I'm actually on my way down from Washington all the way down to SoCal. I'm doing Thanksgiving in SoCal, and then I'm headed back north into Utah. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going yet. It's kind of one of the beauties living in a van, but somewhere north to hit the snow and get some of those videos in. So yeah, this kind of starts the, the journey from Washington all the way down to Palm Springs. It's about 1,400-ish miles, I believe. That's a route that I've done a good amount. I've driven from north all the way south a couple times now, and I know most of the stuff and I film most of the stuff, so I'm gonna try to hit some new spots on the way down, see if I can't make some good videos on new areas that I haven't been to before. But we'll see, I'm on kind of a tight schedule. I got just a little under two weeks to get down there and make a ton of videos on the way, so we'll see. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, the van is doing Absolutely amazing. I don't want to do anything too more crazy than this without a winch on the front or at least without people here to help me if I do get stuck because all it takes is for you just to slide a little bit left into a ditch or a little bit right into a ditch or just a little bit almost off the mountain and you can't move until someone else comes to help you uh, if you don't have a winch or if of course people aren't already with you. So I definitely gotta get a winch at some point on the van so I can actually pull myself out of precarious scenarios but for now with the amount of snow that's on the ground right now it is doing absolutely ridiculous for a vehicle that is my home. <laughs> like this is where I spend all my time. It's, it's crazy. It's just, it's weird to see it going through a crazy obstacle, like a off-road vehicle, and then to climb in it and be like, oh yeah, this is my nice cozy little 78 degree apartment out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of cool. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my delicious ramen. I'm a chef basically now, if you guys haven't noticed. I mean, I threw an egg in there. Come on. <clears throat> and my uh, pure sparkling water. This is quite the meal, quite the meal. Again, whenever I film, I eat giant meals before I start film filming, so I can actually not be like hangry and film throughout the day. So usually what you guys see is like my end of day snack. <laughs> Man, this daylight saving stuff with the sun going down at like 5 p.m. has been I'm not a fan. It's actually one of the reasons I decided to start driving south is because whenever you're in Washington, you know, it's basically one of the most north points of the U.S., uh, it starts to get dark at like 4.30 and it's completely dark by 5 and it only gets worse from here going into the rest of the year. At least going back down south, especially in SoCal, you gain about an hour of daytime. Uh, which makes a big difference this time of year, I'll tell you that. And it is 35 degrees outside currently, and 67 degrees inside, which is about perfect. I like it 65, you know, mid 60s for sleeping. I feel so picky saying that in a nice warm van while it's cold as crap outside, but it's pretty sweet to have my ideal temperature and my ideal sleeping scenario all the time, as long as my heater works, which, you know, it doesn't all the time. <laughs> it looks like it's only gonna get down to around 30 degrees tonight. So we should be good. No extreme temperatures yet. Still below freezing, but nothing extreme. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn off all these bright ass lights because this camera's not very good in the low light. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
my god, it's so much colder out here than in the van. <laughs> Good morning, all you beautiful people. Oh, a little more on coffee, start off the day. Me and the van have made it through yet another very successful day in the van life. This one was a little bit more extreme. This is the farthest I've ever gone down a trail completely by myself. At the peak where the hiking trail was, that was about 20 miles away from the main road, which if you know 20 miles, and if you're going like five miles an hour, maybe 10 miles an hour, 10's actually probably too fast, but I am deep in the forest right now. I'm about 15 miles into the forest still right now, which is pretty weird to think about because I'm entirely alone, 15 miles deep into the forest. It's like, it's a little eerie, <laughs> but at the same time, it's really cool because I am my little home out here all alone. You know, it's kind of cool, a little eerie, kind of cool. It's a little, a mix of both. Honestly, whenever I first started doing this and using the van's capabilities to take me into places like this, I had a hard time sleeping. Being in the dark woods all by yourself, literally in the middle of nowhere, gets pretty freaking creepy. And any noise you hear is just like, you know, is that a bear, is it a wolf, is it anything dangerous? And then also, you know, probably a mix of too many scary movies for me. <laughs> too many movies with someone in the exact scenario being just like murdered out in the middle of nowhere. Completely irrational, but there is something creepy. I think there's just that like ingrained human response where it's like, what's out there kind of deal. Anyways, thank you guys very much for coming along and hanging out with me. And hopefully I showed the incredible beauty of this area. This is like the perfect time where there's some snow on the ground, but they're still green and the trails are still usually accessible. I hope I showed the natural beauty of this place pretty well. The sunrise this morning was off the charts. Damn, that was beautiful. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below if you want to talk to me. Let me know if you want me to do anything. Have you questions about the van? Anything you guys want, leave it down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I don't know if they're gonna come across, but the entire outside right now is just pink. This is crazy.